fourth deed of the acts of thomas from the apocryphal acts of paul peter john andrew and thomas by bernard pick this librivox recording is in the public domain the acts of thomas fourth deed concerning the colt chapter thirty nine whilst the apostle was still standing in the highway and spoke to the multitude a colt of an ass came up to him and opening its mouth said twin brother of the messiah apostle of the most high and initiated into the hidden world of the messiah who receivest his secret utterances co-worker of the son of god who though once free hast been a servant and being sold hast brought many to freedom kinsmen of the great race which condemns the enemy and redeemed its property from him who to many in the land of the indians didst become a cause of life because thou camest to erring men and through thy appearance and thy divine words they now turn to the god of truth who hast sent thee mount sit on me and rest till thou comest to the city and the apostle began and said o jesus christ son of the perfect mercy o rest and calmness and thou of whom even the unreasonable animals speak o hidden rest o thou who art manifest by the working as our saviour and nourisher who keepest us and makest us rest on strange bodies saviour of our souls sweet and inexhaustible source firm pure fountain which is never troubled helper and succor of the servants in the struggle who keepest and drivest away from us the enemy who battlest for us in many battles and makest us victorious in all our true and invincible athlete our holy and victorious general most glorious who givest to thy people imperishable joy and rest which knows of no affliction good shepherd who didst offer thyself for thy sheep didst overcome the wolf and hast redeemed thy sheep and led them to good pastures we praise and glorify thee and thy invisible father and thy holy spirit the mother of all creatures chapter forty when the apostle said this the whole multitude looked at him waiting to hear what he would answer the colt and after the apostle remained silent for a time like one being beside himself and looking toward heaven he said to the colt who art thou and whose art thou for surprising and strange is it which was spoken by thee which is also hidden to many and the colt answered and said i am of that family which served belaam and to which also belonged that colt on which sat thy lord and thy master and now i have been sent to give thee rest by thy sitting on me that these may believe and i obtain that portion which i am about to receive by the service now offered to thee and which shall be taken from me if i do not serve thee and the apostle answered he who gave thee this gift of speech can do that it can be given to thee and to those belonging to thy race unto the end for as concerns this mystery i am powerless and weak and he would not mount but the colt entreated him that by riding on it he might bless it and the apostle mounted and sat down and all went with him some going before others following him and they all ran anxious to see how he would dismiss the colt chapter forty one and when he came near the gates of the city he alighted and said go and be kept where thou hast been 
and immediately the colt fell to the ground and to the feet of the apostle and died all of those that were present were sorrowing and said to the apostle make it alive but he answered and said to them i could do it indeed through the name of jesus but this would not help it for he who gave it the speech that it spoke could also do it that it did not die i shall not raise it not as if i could not do it but because this is the best for it and he ordered those present to dig a hole and bury the carcass and they did as he bade them end of the fourth deed of the acts of thomas